back to my channel. So today we're gonna do something that you're gonna think is really, you're gonna make that today, but yeah, today we're gonna learn how to make the best scrambled eggs. Now, why scrambled eggs? Well, yeah, it's easy, but you can mess it up and there are some ways to make it like super, super good. So today we're gonna go over a few of those ways. All right, so I'm gonna do three eggs. I think that's a good amount for me. I like to eat three. So let's get started. All right, so if you've seen in my last video, we're never gonna crack an egg on the side. You're gonna eject some of the shells in there and any bacteria that may be on the eggs. So we're always gonna crack it on a flat surface. There's one, two, all right, three. Let's give that a little whisk. Now, some people like to add a little bit of water. I don't, I think it tends to make your eggs look too wet. However, I do like to add just a little tiny splash of heavy cream. You can use milk, you can use half and half, but I mean, if you're gonna go rich, then you might as well go all the way. So, you wanna make sure you really break up that albumin. That's like the really like white snot. That's like that in the eggs that connects the, um, the white to the shell. It's gross sometimes, I can even take it out, but for this video, we're just gonna keep it. All right, so we don't see any like big chunks or slime hanging off of the whisk. So we're ready to go. Thanks for coming. Go in there. All right, let's talk about fat. There's all kinds of fat you can use. You can just use nonstick spray if you want, olive oil, which I really don't suggest, um, canola oil, uh, margarine, which is a total no in my book, um, awesome, beautiful, old-fashioned butter. Um, you can also use ghee. Um, when you say ghee, isn't that like a karate uniform? Yeah, it is, but it's also clarified butter. And what clarified butter is, it's just butter that has had all the milk fat completely taken out of. So what they do is you put it in a pan, you bring it up to not a boil, but to a scald, and you just get all of that um, milk fat out. It'll rise to the top and you kind of just keep spooning it off. That's what they use. Like if you get lobster, that little cup of butter, that's clarified butter. It's delicious. If you um, have a problem with lactose and you're on a casein free diet, then ghee is your way to go. Um, it tastes great. Uh, this is grass fed. That's the way I would buy it, um, but that's just me. And for me, my favorite liquid gold, not duck fat liquid gold, but bacon, bacon grease, liquid gold. Um, so when you're done making bacon, you know, cool it down, strain it to a nice fine sieve or uh, whatever kind of strainer you have, but you wanna make sure you get all whatever chunks of stuff that you had in there, bacon, you know, whatever maybe you had in there, you wanna strain all that out, put it in a little jar. I pop it in the freezer, it lasts forever. And I'm just gonna put that in my pan. Yeah, it's not good for you, but you know what? Once in a while, go for it. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's get started. We wanna get our fat in the pan first. Remember, we wanna cook this, cook this over a very, very, very low heat. We want to like our good meats, low and slow. All right, what is this, a spork? Hello, fork, welcome to the party. Forky. We're gonna put just a little bit of this liquid gold in the pan, start getting it melting. All right. Again, very low flame. All right, that looks good. Let's pour in our egg. Get all that goodness out. Again, this isn't something that you want to walk away from. So once you get these eggs in, prepare to stick around. All right, our pan's nice and hot. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going around the edges and pushing that egg into the middle. Just keep pushing it. And you'll see it's going to start cooking quick. It's really, you're gonna start seeing that egg cook and you wanna just keep going around, going around, push in the middle. If you see that it's cooking too fast, lower your heat. It's a constant movement of these eggs. Keep going. Now, it all depends also on how you like 
your eggs. If you like wet eggs, then obviously you're gonna cook them for a shorter period of time. If you like your eggs well done, longer period of time. Now, once it starts really forming um, then you're gonna have to move faster. So just keep going around and flip over, around, flip over, around, flip over. They're gonna get nice and creamy. Don't overcook them though, because honestly, it's not good. Now to the point, these are almost done. See how fast? And that's it, it's a constant movement. You don't wanna like just let them sit there. If you wanna make an omelet, that's a different thing, but still, it's quick. We'll do an omelet in another, in another video, all right? This is done. Let's lower our heat, let's turn it off actually. All right, thank you, get our plate. Beautiful, fluffy, silky scrambled egg. Take these up. Of course, obviously, this would go perfect with some bacon, some sourdough bread. Now, I like to eat them with, oh, here's another thing. I don't like to add salt to my scrambled eggs before I cook them. To me, I think it extracts a lot of water um, from the eggs and it makes them like, like you'll start to see like water kind of pool around your eggs when you're done. That's just me. I like to salt, um, afterwards. And plus I used bacon fat. Bacon fat's already salty. So I don't want to put too much on. So what you're going to do, I don't want to use that spork. You're going to taste a little first. I like salt. I'm going to add more salt. Maybe a little crack of salt. Oh my God, I almost spit that out. A nice fresh brown pepper, some parsley, and how I love to have eggs, and some hot sauce. There you go. Perfect scrambled egg breakfast, or for whenever you want it. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, perfect. Light, fluffy, creamy. Doesn't get much better than that. Guys, get in the kitchen. Make your girlfriend, make your wife some breakfast in bed. Girls, get your ass in the kitchen. Make your husband, make your boyfriend. Whoever, whoever you love, get in there. Make them some breakfast in, the, in bed. Get your kids some eggs. They're healthy. They're good. Come on. It doesn't get much better than this. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this channel. Oh, sorry, not the channel. Well, my channel too. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, let me know. This is easy, but you know what? Eggs is one of those things. They either like suck or they're really good. To me, there's no real in between. All right, thanks guys. I'll see you later.